Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your 2017 May reading. And before I continue, I advise you to watch or read the description below so you understand the energies and this viewpoint this reading is coming from. And to not further stall, I'm going to draw a diamond and shuffle the cards a bit. Yes. So in this diamond, the middle card is presenting itself here is the issue, the second card is the influence from inside which you are unaware of, the third card are the influences from outside you are aware of uh, this is uh, what's needed for a solution to the issue and the fifth card is the solution presenting itself when you continue on this endeavor what is coming clear in other words and to continue after this reading I will draw a card while shuffling a card that represents itself from the Osho Tarot book Zen deck and readout from the booklet I will still use the booklet as well for the Los Carabeo deck here represented and to continue your issue Sagittarius for this month is the Bachelor Number 10, the Knight of Wands, not number 10, the Knight of Wands, no, no, it's the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands in this deck represents the Bachelor. Um, so, excuse me, in order to make your dream come true, you will have to make a quick decision concerning a change, potential help from a person outside the family. So, that is. Uh, the issue for you this month it's uh, about resolving some uh, uh, some things about being alone maybe and coming in is the six of swords from the things you are unaware of or influences you are unaware of and the six of swords is prudence uh, new events publication and fame if you want to make your dream come true don't take any chances but think things over calmly and you see some people holding uh, a sail from a guy jumping from a roof so and what you are aware of in your uh, vicinity or uh, in somehow the influences from outside is the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in this deck represents The Harris, a wealthy middle-aged woman with brown hair, will play an important role in making your dream come true. However, be careful not to sacrifice your feelings to gain power. That is what this card means to you. So, there is a, maybe a woman or a man, it can represent both, who is a wealthy of nature and uh, has influence, who can help you, but do not lose your soul over it. And you have strength. Um, within uh, your uh, needing for solution so strength is a major arcana in this card it is about self-confidence don't let yourself be conditioned by your past and by your fear of failure others will never believe in you if you do not believe in yourself first so it's calling upon strength needing for a solution to this bachelorship and things about rewards and thing, endeavors in the past about writings and people who have maybe influence in both money and and publication uh, can help you or uh, the, the, the soul you, you never know I'm just uh, making my little uh, own interpretation so whatever is coming clear if you pursue endeavors like this, the solution to it, and I can hardly turn the card, it is the Six of Pentacles, which is uh, indulgence, I guess. Um, let's find it out here. The Six of Pentacles, it is anxiety uh, as well, economic concerns, crisis, fickle fortune, you need more time to see your dream become reality or you, you will need more time so 
Uh, this is a little downer on the end of the reading. Uh, it is uh, about uh, having time and being indulgent. Uh, so let's continue and see what uh, is needed for your focus or and your point of zen. To sorry, these are too many cards, but this card did jump out. It is moment to moment. So the point of Zen for you, dear Sagittarius, is moment to moment. And uh, oh, I will have to look up this card. Um, I guess uh, it's a two, so a minor arcana. No. Excuse me for just looking here. Uh, not really. Ah, here we are. The suit of rainbows, 140. So I do expect this to be a more positive message and to have a look at the card first. We see a man in a rainbow path, treading a stone path in a kimono. In a so it will be from living moment to moment. 108 mm, and now I fucked up, sorry for that need to recheck it again, moment 140 so take the page fast moment to moment as this figure moves across the stones, he steps lightly and non-seriously, and at the same time absolutely balanced and alert. Behind the swirling, ever-changing waters, we can see the shapes of buildings. There appears to be a city in the background. The man is in the marketplace, but at the same time outside of it, maintaining his balance and able to watch it from above. This card challenges us to move away from our preoccupations with other spaces and to other times and stay alert to what is happening in the there and now life is a great ocean in which you can play if you drop all your judgments your preferences and the attachment to the details of the long-term plans be available to what comes your way and as it comes and don't worry if you stumble or fall just pick yourself up dust yourself off have a good laugh and carry on moment to moment the past is no more and the future is not yet both are unnecessarily moving in directions which don't exist one used to exist but no longer exists and the, uh, and the one has not even started to exist the only right person is, the, is one who lives moment to moment who arrow is directed to the moment who is always here and now wherever he is his, his whole conscious his whole being is involved in the reality of here and in the reality of now. That is the only right direction. Only such a man can enter into the golden gate. The present is the golden gate. Here now is the golden gate. And you can be in the present only if you are not ambitious, not accomplishment, no desire, not to achieve power, money, prestige, even enlightenment. Because all ambition leads into the future. Only a non-ambitious man can remain in the present. A man who wants to be in the present has not to think, has just to see and to enter the gate. Experience will come, but experience has not to be premeditated. So this is a very positive card at the end, the two of rainbows. And I hope you like this message, uh, Sagittarius. A very positive ending with a little minor here to the solution that might resolve in you waiting a little longer than normally. So I do hope you like this uh, reading, uh, subscribe uh, for more, I will keep these readings up and do check out the channel for more content. Thank you for watching.